whether you've made your resolutions yet or not, we didn't get a lot of joy out of Judith, David and Tim. We got a lovely one out of Tim, but Judith seems to be keeping hers a secret. What about those other guests I've spoken to tonight? We'll start, I think, with the two handsome sons of Mrs Leishman and Timaru. Mark. What? New Year's resolution. <laughs> um, to survive, I suppose, um, and to not make New Year's resolutions. Right, Philip. <laughs> I think that I would like to see the Japan Cup as the highest rating program again. <laughs> <laughs> I would also like to improve my standard address, which over the last hour has deteriorated, as you can see. And I'd also like to get on first name terms with my brother. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Thanks, John. John Gordon. John Gordon. Uh, I resolve in 1986 to win a dog trial <laughs> running <laughs> Judith Fife. <laughs> <laughs> there was no joy last time. Roger Gascoigne. There's a, there's a hearty annual, Cathy, that goes along the lines of um, you must give up something for Lent, therefore give up your New Year's resolution. I can't top Tim Shadbolt's. Seriously. Right. Bob. That was nice. Well, I think I'd, uh, I'd like to be funnier than Dave McPhail. <laughs> we have a, a better left hook than Bob Jones. <laughs> and have much better luck on the horses than Phil Leishman. <laughs> <laughs> Danny. I just like to wake up every morning and see the sunrise, and you couldn't beat what uh, Tim said, spend a lot of time with the, your, ch your kids and your family. Philip, how are you going over there with your new family? Oh, fine. My, my resolution is never to make another. I only ever break them, and I've, I've given up feeling guilty. <laughs> Helen? Oh, likewise, unwise resolutions. I can never keep them, so I don't make them, but perhaps to drink more champagne. Jeff. <laughs> Jeff? No, I don't make them either. Pointless. <laughs> Peter Williams, you're not allowed to say you don't make them. Oh, I do, yes. I, I'd like to convince Richie Benno and Ian Chappell to be uh, more fair to the New Zealand cricket team. Oh, <laughs> right. OK. Well, thank you. Well, I did assure you that the rest of the evening was going to go with a big bang with a remarkable host. And Television New Zealand welcomes in 1986 on one sad note, which it loses probably its most colourful presenter and certainly the raunchiest voice on television, Karen Hay. Yeah, you are. Yes, there you are. Happy Cheers. New Year. Happy New Year. And what is that New Year going to hold? Ah, oh, well, a lot of things, I hope. Um, I won't be working at television, obviously, but no. um, I'm moving up north and uh, doing a, something that's called a film script, which is uh, quite a difficult uh, thing to contemplate. What's the film about? You are a woman of amazing mixed talents. Oh, thank you, Cathy. I'd have to say you are the same. Uh, um, well, it's, you know, when you ever get into that subject about what's the film about, it's such a long and involved story. I'll, Just briefly. Yeah, well, it's a cliché like every other movie you've ever seen in your life. Um, it's aimed at teenage market. Uh, it's a music movie, and it's a movie with a message, we hope. And it's got a working title of Natural Justice, which will give you some idea yeah, of what it's, what it's about. about. Yeah. Have there been personal highlights for you over the last year? Um, well, with, within television or... No, just you. Just you. Uh, what has been personal highlight? Um, I learned how to make hazelnut truffles. A few weeks ago. That was a good <laughs> highlight. Uh, and I sold my car, which was even better. I'd like to say very happy New Year to all Triumph owners in New Zealand. <laughs> Music has always been uppermost with you, and you've been a tremendous promoter of New Zealand music. Has it been a good year for it? It has been a good year all round, really. I think it's um, got a higher profile in 1985, and hopefully 86 will continue. Um, a lot of more uh, songs were played on the radio, and we ended the year on a wonderful note with um, local band Peking Man being the number one song in New Zealand. So, that was so it was a great year for you. Yeah. Good evening. I'm Karen Hay. Welcome to Radio with Pictures 1981. Well, musically, this year got off to a really strong start with the Nambassa and Sweetwaters festivals happening on the same weekend in January. If you're into alternative lifestyles, sprinkled with a touch of rhythm and blues, then Nambassa was the place to go. But for the hardcore rock fanatic, then Sweetwaters promised and delivered the goods. Tonight and next week, we devote the programs entirely to the cream of the music seen over the three days at Sweetwaters. 
If you went, it'll no doubt bring back some fond memories. And if you didn't, what follows is a slice of what you missed. It was just the most miserable trick that's ever been played on me in my entire life. You were a very beautiful young girl once. I, it was the most striking. I, actually, I love the bit with you. You look a bit like a dipstick with sort of curl, curlers in your hair. That was rather unfair, lovely. Unfair. I hate no. you both. No, no, Karen, you look absolutely marvellous. Oh, yes. I love your hips. Oh, now, let's you. get into the music here and see people off for the night. Yes, we will. We end uh, tonight's show on a fitting number, we think it is. Artists united against apartheid, and that's a nice way to, well, a nice sentiment to think of in 86. Right, right. Yeah. Sun City, they ain't going to play it. Good night from all of us. Cheers. Good night.